Flutterwave versus Seller. Which platform works better for business owners? Flutterwave, Seller. Which one should you go for as a business owner? Are both even competing against each other in terms of services that they render? Or is one a substitute for the other? Or are they even complementary? By complementary, I mean, can you run both together in your business? Okay, in this short but detailed tutorial, I will explain everything you need to know about these two giant Nigerian digital companies, especially as it affects your business. So, you don't even want to skip any part of this video if you fall under any of these categories of persons. Number one, if you're a business owner, either physical, by physical I mean brick and mortar business or digital, which means internet-based business. Number two, maybe you are presently not engaged in any notable business yet, but you have a dream of having a 21st century digital compliant business, either physical or digital. Then this video is what you want to see. Number three, if you currently have an account with either Flutterwave or Seller, or like some of us, you have an account with both companies, then you should also stay hooked to this video. And number four, if you have an account with any fintech company like Paystack and the rest of them, then you should see this video also. And then number five, if you don't belong to any of these categories, but you have watched this video to this point, then it's an indication that you should stay with us because you have some stuff to learn as you will soon discover in this video. But before we begin, please do this channel a favor by liking this video. I really beg you because if you like it, you will enable this information to be seen by other people who need this kind of information. Also, I want you to go to the comment section and do something strange but very powerful. Go there and type in, I am a billionaire. If you really believe that you can become great, then type it there. It is a very powerful action that makes the universe connive together to make sure that what you type, what you see, and what you say with your mouth come to pass. But if not, then you can ignore. So, enough of the introduction. If you want to know the difference between Seller and Flutterwave, and how both companies can benefit your business, or if you should ditch one for the other, then let's get right to it. Flutterwave. So, what is Flutterwave and how does Flutterwave impact your business? I think the best person to hear it from is the CEO of Flutterwave himself, Benga Agwala. So, it's very simple, right? If for Africa to defraud, we're going to have three things. Logistics, payments and commerce. Our job right now at Flutterwave is to build the payment part of, part of that and solve that problem for us. Africa payment is highly fragmented. You go to um, Nigeria, you go to Kenya, the payment types are different and they are diverse, but they work. So our job at Flutter Wave is to build a common payment infrastructure that connects everything together and makes it easy for a business to accept payments online or in-store through Flutter Wave. So you hear it from the Aussie's mouth as we used to say. Flutterwave is basically a payment gateway system which helps African companies, either big, medium, or small, to solve payment challenges, period. So, with Flutterwave, you can sell your physical or digital product or service from anywhere in Africa, technically, to anywhere in the world, both locally and internationally and easily receive payment in any of the over 30 currencies that are presently active on the Flutterwave platform. One way you can easily set this up is to create what is known as a payment link on Flutterwave. I did a video that explained how you can create Flutterwave payment link in two minutes or less and receive payment for anything either as small as a biro or as big as a car. This is the video on your screen and the link is displayed here at the top corner. I will also leave the link in the video description so that you can go ahead and see it after watching this video. So, to make things simple for you to understand, all the payment solutions of Flutterwave border around payment processing, which lets you as a business owner to receive payment for your product and service in an automated fashion. It's really convenient and more importantly, it's safe. Another one is financial product design, such as the Rave by Flutterwave and the popular Butter by Flutterwave virtual card, 
which you can use to process online payments. Another one is the Flutterwave e-store, which let business owners set up their online store for their physical and digital products or use the Flutterwave business tools to grow your business. So, basically, if your business has an account with Flutterwave, you have access to the Flutterwave checkout feature. I am sure that you must have made payments with this checkout system from other vendors and business owners. It's about the most popular checkout system in Nigeria and it's becoming very popular across Africa. So before now, you may think that only the bigger companies can use this checkout system to receive payment, but now you know that irrespective of the size of your business, this feature is available for you to use technically for free. So, with this checkout system, your customers can easily make payments to you and Flutterwave operates a 3D security system which means that with the OTP system, your customers don't have to be scared about the security and confidentiality of their financial details and you can accept your payments which will be sent to your Flutterwave collection balance after which you can then withdraw to your local bank accounts from the checkout balance all within the Flutterwave dashboard. And finally, you can send money from your Flutterwave balance to either individuals as a form of payment or bulk transfer to multiple accounts. For instance, many business owners still struggle with the analog method of staff salary payment which they can simply set up as a payroll system on Flutterwave where Flutterwave do the bulk transfer to their staff. You may not need to order the expensive payroll software when Flutterwave can easily help you to undo this process. The good thing about this method of payment is that you can actually use the bulk payment method not just for staff salary within the country but even internationally. You can also use the system to pay your vendors and contractors and you can send money in more than 30 different currencies to over 40 different countries. So before I continue guys, please if you are here to like this video, I believe I should have earned that favor at this point. So please help me give this video a like right now. You will be helping YouTube algorithms suggest this video to more people who need information like this. Also, if you are here to subscribe to this channel and you love to see more amazing fintech, make money, business and online visibility tutorials like this one, then why not just tap the subscribe button and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release more videos like this. So before I tell you what I feel about Flutterwave and their service, let's quickly go ahead to our second digital service. Seller. So with Seller, we don't have to say half as much as we have already said about Flutterwave and in the next few seconds, you will be able to compare and contrast between Flutterwave and Seller to see if they are competitors or not. So simply put, Seller has just one simple though very important feature. It is simply a platform that helps you host your products and services which you want to sell to your online customers. It is that simple. So, if you have a digital product like an ebook, a video course, cheat sheets to sell, courses and memberships, or intangible services like selling tickets for your workshop, your trainings, webinars, or other events, you can host all of these on the seller platform. It doesn't end here because you can also sell services such as coaching, counseling, tutoring and other kind of services on seller and finally your physical product are also not left out. So seller is a robust all-in-one product platform that helps you sell just any imaginable product or service to your global audience. And that is the beauty. So, why will you give your business unnecessary limitations where you can package your product to sell to the global audience? In fact, you might want to say, hey, Muiwa, I sell physical products, so there is no way I can have global customers. But that will only be because you have not sat down to think of ways to expand your business globally, irrespective if it is a small, local, or a digital business. So let's say for instance that I'm a baker who sells cakes locally. What if I decide to write an ebook on baking or even go the extra mile to record video tutorials about baking? By doing that, you would have already created a digital product out of a local physical product. And the beauty of this is that you will have to create this digital product just once 
and it can fetch you money on seller technically forever without you spending a dime or effort again unlike your original physical product so now we can go back to our original question flutter wave versus seller which should you go with from these explanations you can see that flutter wave and seller are really not a competition Flutterwave is a payment gateway while Seller is a product hosting platform. But before you agree with me, hook, line and sinker, let me tell you that actually we can compare between Seller and Flutterwave. This is because they have something very important in common which is the product selling feature. So why Flutterwave as an e-store which is a kind of service that Seller also provide? But as I already explained in this video. Sellers seem to offer a more robust e-selling function, which is quite better than that of Flutterwave, if you ask me. Flutterwave e-store does not offer as much as seller when it comes to giving business owners the opportunity to sell their products and services to the global audience. But this is quite understandable because it is not a major function that Flutterwave was originally created for. So, what are the differences between Flutterwave e-store and the seller platform. After I show you the differences and similarities between these two, then we will answer the question of which of them you should go with when looking for a payment system and also when you want to sell a product or service. Now the number three difference on this list is such a massive one that can be a huge difference in how much you can expand your sales by over 1000%. Make sure that you take that particular difference very seriously. So, the number one difference between Seller and Flutterwave eStore is that Seller platform offer a wider range of features for your digital and physical products. For instance, Flutterwave cannot host your product on their platform. So you can only display your product information in text and image forms. And this is the first place where Seller does much better because on Seller you are presented with much more product hosting options. With Seller, you can either host your digital product on the Seller Cloud, not just that, you can set your product as downloadable or non-downloadable. If it is non-downloadable, then it means that your customer can only read or watch your calls online, they cannot download them. And also, if you don't want to host your product on Seller, maybe you have your own website or product that is uploaded in places such as Google Drive, Meta Cloud, or any other cloud hosting platform, or you are even the type that sell your product maybe on Instagram. One beautiful and powerful marketing advantage you have for doing this kind of redirect is that you can actually redirect your customers to your WhatsApp contact. You can have their phone contact for the purpose of upselling them next time before giving them access to the product. And I hope you understand what upsell means. So, to Flutterwave, Flutterwave eStore does not have any of these functionalities. With Flutterwave, you can only display your product image via your eStore unique URL. And then they cannot download and Flutterwave cannot host them. Secondly, since Seller is a full marketplace, Seller is set up to provide you the opportunity for SEO optimization of your store and product much better than what Flutterwave offer. Though this may be up for debate among sellers who have a good knowledge of SEO marketing, but personally, from my observation of how both platforms are set up, seller SEO features work much more powerfully than what Flutterwave is to provide. Though this may be up for a debate, and if you don't know what SEO marketing is, it is just a way of optimizing the description of your e-store and product so that it has the potential to be seen on Google by people who visit Google to search for keywords relating to what you sell. I have a course on how to pull out those kind of traffic from Google using what I call advanced keyword research strategy. If you want to see that course, you can check the link below this video. And now to number three, Seller eStore provides marketers the all important opportunity to install the Facebook pixel on their eStore. Actually, not just only Facebook, but several other social media pixels also. Now, Facebook pixel is a line of code that is provided by Facebook, which enables sellers and Facebook advertisers the opportunity to track the activities of their customers or prospects who visit their store. So, for instance, 
if you run a Facebook ad to your Scylla store and your targeted audience from Facebook visit your store and checked up on your product without taking the most desired action, which in this case is to buy. Facebook Pixel gives you the opportunity to know at what point your prospect bounced off the store and the knowledge helps you to retarget this prospect with highly customized messages. So for instance, your prospect added your product to cart but did not complete the sales process which is to pay. You can simply retarget such prospect with a message such as, hey, I noticed you checked up on my product but did not go ahead to pay. What happened? Was this payment information confusing or whatever it is you just want to say. These highly customized messages increases your ability to finally close your sales because you are not sending a generalized message but targeted message at a specific number of people. Being able to send targeted messages like this is known to make customers convert much better and also make you spend less to get much more sales using the Facebook ad or any other social media ad for that matter. But unfortunately, as at the time of this recording, Flutterwave Store does not provide these opportunities to users to be able to install the Facebook Pixel, so activities of your store visitors cannot be tracked on the Flutterwave eStore. So now to my verdict. Flutterwave seller, what should you go for? Truth remains that Flutterwave is not necessarily in competition with seller. Flutterwave arguably provides about the best payment option service in Africa. Seller does not provide payment options. So, every business owner who needs payment solution service must be on Flutterwave. Either you also sell on Seller or not. Also, if you want to easily sell your products and services both to local customers and global, then you must be on Seller. Either you have a registered account with Flutterwave or any other fintech platform or not. As for the e-store feature, while the store function of Seller is much better and much more advanced than that of Flutterwave and is still my best recommendation, but yet, as a 21st century business owner, you should be promoting your products and services using the omnipresence marketing strategy. An omnipresence marketing strategy simply means that you should be promoting your products and services on all possible available platforms. So, that your product or service is on Seller, on Udemy, on System or whatever platform does not mean you should not also be on Flutterwave. The goal is for your business to be available everywhere and take advantage of all the opportunities provided for your use. Besides, algorithms do change across digital platforms. Upgrades do happen all the time. And so, who says that some of the features not available on Flutterwave today cannot be added tomorrow? So, as a wise marketer, make sure you sign up with both platforms to sell your product and go for that to use their various customized services to improve your business and make life easy for you using digital marketing. Finally, if you are interested in taking my advanced keyword research course so you can bring in more traffic to your website, to your landing pages, or learn this as a freelance skill that you can offer and make money online, then check out the link to this course in the video description. And you can also get to me through the contact details I've dropped there. So, what do you think about the information I just shared? Which of them is the take home for you? And if you are either on Seller, on Flutterwave, or on both, then you can kindly share your experience on this platform in the comment section. We will love to read them. So, if I provide value in this video, please like it. And for more in-depth business and make money online tips like this, then subscribe to this channel. Finally, in this video, I walk you through how to set up e-commerce e-store on Flutterwave. And in this one, I show you how you can run Facebook ads to your Flutterwave e-store to improve your sales. Make sure you check them up. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.